Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. This is a part 4 video of Linear Algebra with MATLAB. In part 1 we covered the parts highlighted in yellow, in part 2 we covered the parts highlighted in red, in part 3 we covered the factorization. In factorization we saw how MATLAB does LU, QR and Kolesky factorization. In this video, we are going to look into powers and exponential and eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Positive integer powers. If we have to do a 2 square, we multiply 2 with itself once, that is 2 into 2. Similarly, if we are powering matrix A by power of P, then we are multiplying matrix A by itself P minus 1 times. Here in this example, take a matrix A that is a 3 by 3 Pascal matrix and I did a power of 3. So we get an answer that is highlighted in yellow. So when I say I am doing a cube of matrix A, basically I am multiplying matrix A 3 times. Inverse powers. If matrix A is a square matrix and it is a non-singular matrix, then matrix A to the power negative P will basically be a multiplication of inverse of A by itself P minus 1 times. Here in this example, again we create a 3 by 3 Pascal matrix A and we do a inverse with the power of minus 3. So we get the answer as highlighted in yellow. This is similar to multiplying inverse of matrix A 3 times. Fractional powers like A to the power 2 by 3, A to the power 1 by 2 or A to the power 4 by 5 are also permitted. But the results depend upon the distribution of eigenvalues of the matrix. Element by element powers. The dot raised to the power operator does an element by element power. Like for example, here in this case, I am taking a Pascal 3 by 3 matrix A and doing an element by element cube. So you can see that all my elements have been cubed, not the whole matrix. The output for this is the cube of each and every element independently. Square root. For square root, there are two functions. That is square root SQRT that does an element by element square root of matrix A and square root matrix that is SQRTM that is that does the square root for the matrix as a whole. So in the example shown, I have taken a matrix A and then a square root of matrix as a whole. So I get an answer that is highlighted in yellow. Exponential. Similar to square root matrix, we have an exponential function for matrix that is exponential matrix written as EXPM. This computes the matrix exponential. Again, I have taken a 3 by 3 matrix, Pascal matrix and passed it to EXPM and I get the answer highlighted in yellow. Now using matrix exponential, where to use this matrix exponential? That's the question. So consider a system of linear ordinary differential equation of form dx by dt is equal to ax. Here x of t is a function of t and a is a matrix that is independent of t. So the solution for same will be given as x of t is equal to e to the power a t multiplied by x of 0 where x of 0 is the initial condition. Now for sake of example, consider a matrix A, a 3 by 3 matrix with values as 0, minus 6, minus 1, 6, 2, minus 16, minus 5, 20, minus 10 with initial condition x0 as 1, 1 and 1. The matrix exponential here is used to compute solution x of t to the differential equation dx by dt is equal to ax. This is done from point 0 to 1 that is t will be between 0 and 1 for that purpose I have taken a decimation of 0 0.01 a three dimensional face plane plot shows the solution spiraling in towards the origin. So as you can see from the plotted plot that the solution is spiraling towards the origin. This behavior is related to the eigenvalues of the coefficient matrix. In this case the coefficient matrix is matrix A. 
eigen value decomposition an eigen value and eigen vector of a square matrix a are respectively a scalar lambda and a non zero vector u that satisfy the equation highlighted in yellow that is au is equal to lambda u with the eigen values on the diagonal of matrix delta and the corresponding eigen vectors forming the column of matrix v you have av is equal to v delta if v is non singular this becomes the eigen value decomposition that is a is equal to v delta v minus 1 raised to the power minus 1 if v is non singular this becomes the eigen value decomposition that is a is equal to v delta v to the power minus 1 now we will take the same matrix that we worked on before with elements 0 minus 6 minus 1 6 to minus 16 minus 5 20 and minus 10 for this matrix we can calculate both the eigen values and the eigen vectors using the function eigen first we can see the eigen values of a matrix a by passing it to function eig Hence we get lambda and this is our eigen values. These values are highlighted in yellow. Now we will do a decomposition and find V and diagonal matrix D containing the eigen values. For this purpose we will again use eigen function and pass matrix A to it. From this we will extract V and D. V is highlighted as orange that is the decomposition matrix and D that is the diagonal matrix is highlighted as green the yellow part in D shows the eigen values multiple eigen values some matrices do not have an eigen vector decomposition these matrices are not diagonalizable so let's take an example I'll create a matrix A with value 6 12 19 minus 9 minus 20 minus 33 and 4 9 15 the matrix is highlighted in yellow. Uh, I will pass this matrix to the eigen function and extract V and D. So as you can see there is a double eigen value at lambda equal to 1. So the second and third columns of V are the same. For this matrix a full set of linearly independent eigen vectors does not exist. Now MATLAB's advanced matrix computation do not require eigenvalue decomposition. Instead they are based on sure decomposition. Sure decomposition says that A is equal to U S U transpose where U is an orthogonal matrix and S is a block upper triangular matrix with 1 by 1 and 2 by 2 blocks on the diagonal. The eigenvalues are revealed by the diagonal elements and blocks of S. While the columns of U provide a basis with much better numerical properties than a set of eigenvectors. Let's take the same matrix A for sure decomposition, the one having two eigenvalues at 1. As you can see, the orthogonal matrix U is highlighted in yellow and the block of a triangular matrix S is highlighted in green. In S, one can clearly see the blocks that is 1 by 1 block containing the eigenvalue minus 1 and 2 by 2 block containing the eigenvalues of 1. The double eigenvalue is contained in the lower 2 by 2 block of S. This concludes our video on linear algebra. On the next video, we are going to look into operation on nonlinear function. So till then, please stay tuned, subscribe and thanks for watching.